Okay, welcome to the second part of the classic chart patterns continuation section. So we already went over the reversal patterns and we're in the middle of the continuation patterns which again are flags or channels, wedges, pennants and rectangles. So in this case we're going to focus on the last two. So a pennant, pennants are a continuation pattern that represent a pause during a trending environment. It is characterized by a small symmetrical triangle shape, usually forms after a strong move. Ideally you want to see volume go down while they're forming, giving an indication that a pause is taking place before more pressure comes back with the prevailing movement. Once price breaks out from the trend line top in an uptrend or bottom trend line in a downtrend, the pattern is confirmed. So again, just like uh, flax and um, wedges, this is a pattern that represents a pause in the trend. You know, uh, traders are stepping back, volumes go down, and price starts getting a little more range bound. In this case, the characteristic of the pennants is that price is coming in and it's coiling into a triangle shape and then we expect to see a clean break in continuation of the trend. So in this case we have Australian dollar 5 minute US dollar Forex. We can see here how in this case we actually had a break above the pattern but then we actually then did continue down. But I just wanted to illustrate how these patterns, you know, they don't work 100% precisely all the time but you're still you know you're still watching this pattern once you get three hits you got your pattern drawn out you're still expecting further move down and you can apply the measure move of the widest part of the pennant and project it out of the breakout point well in this case it was in the other way but here we could have taken this and we could have maintained this line which as you can see we had a very nice retest back upon this break so that could have been an entry possibility and then we could have applied a measure move in that area for example and just to have an idea in confluence with obviously price action um, to the left of the chart. Here's another example, Euro New Zealand, five minutes. We're coming in a strong uptrend. Price starts coiling in a pennant formation and we get a very strong bullish close outside. We can apply a measure move and could have taken profits on that trade. Okay, The rectangles are formed when price makes a short-term range which contains price between two parallel, parallel levels. It is considered a continuation pattern because we expect price to eventually break out in the original trend direction. But I found that you have to be careful with rectangles because it could also be forming a reversal triple top or bottom triple or more when you see a rectangle you basically have a sideways channel in which prices contain in a very strong resistance and support so this provide either ranging trading opportunities from one side of the range to the next or you want to wait for a clean breakout and um, so some traders look to be uh, trading the range until you see a clean breakout and this is an important factor. You want to look for compression near one side. That's going to be a good hint sign of where we're actually going to see a break. And then ideally, you know, we don't want to chase price once it breaks. We would like to see it come back 
into a support and resistance flip or resistance and support flip to go long. So here's an example in Bitcoin where we have price coming down. We had a very strong down move. We're coming down. Price then just starts chopping here as they say in between two levels. Here we have many attempts to go down and penetrate these levels until finally a nice big solid candle down. We break the whole market structure further and if we would extend this level we see that we have a nice rounded retest back for a great opportunity to go short into this supply zone right here and we fill this little gap we can look for shorts and in this case you know you could apply if you want a measured move of this rectangle and take profits at that level if you so wish or you can just look for price action here and use that also in confluence here's another example this is uh, US dollar Canadian one day this is an example how we see how this we didn't actually break to the upside but price started forming a top we have a triple top over here where price came three separate occasions formed the triple top cannot break and then finally we see price comes down and starts making lower highs here we had three impulses up without breaking out this is a very important uh, reversal pattern also to the downside where we have three shoves with no continuation and then we have this very solid candle closing out here we break this whole support level break in market structure so we can look to short on a retrace back we see we actually did penetrate this a little bit but we expect this to go down since this was a very significant resist uh, support term resistance and this is an example in US dollar cat four hours so this is many days of price action we got a huge range here so you know if you're an intraday trader you would have had a lot of opportunities here this encompasses many days and you can see towards the end how we got this trend line to the downside that is just holding price back we have three shops to the upside and then we continue down we have a huge bearish candle there which right here which breaks the level we break this whole support that we had here price just makes a little retracement but we see how we continue down and we can take a measure move and even here if you're playing the range you know if you're trying to trade side by side we can even see here you got a head and shoulders right here so you know you could even trade here you had a break of that trend line you could try to go long here which you didn't get a lot of momentum but still you can see here three shoves to the upside into the top and then we fall back so you know you have a lot of different patterns and things to go about depending on what time frames you are looking at okay so now let's go to some charts and see some examples this is the s p 500 market four hours and you see we have the volume here also as we're gonna see we always want to see higher volume activity when we are gonna break out here this in this case we got a very clear uptrend here and then we have a nice couple of consecutive examples of pennants where we have right here and you can see you know pennants and wedges are very similar you know 
the it's just a very subtle difference like a wedge in this case would be maybe something like this whereas this is more like a symmetrical triangle but they both give us the same meaning you know we both know we know both of them signal a continuation of trend so in this case we have this pennant here and we also have this um, other uh, pennant right over here if we connect this lines here this one here and then this one's oh no sorry i went back i went back too far it's actually this one's here here it was just a smaller one here yeah here was the other pennant that in this case was smaller right over there Okay, let me see. This actually, this doesn't look right. That was the second. And this was the other one right there. Ah, uh, no, I know what I did wrong, sorry. It was hours on the four hour. And I grabbed the whole area. I was going to say, this is a larger pen and that's why I wasn't finding it, sorry. It was because I was looking at this. And we actually had some, we have a lot of this ones, one inside of the other or we have one smaller pennant here yeah this was the other one one smaller pennant there and one smaller pennant there exactly yeah like that and then we have a much broader larger pennant right here so as you can see in this whole uptrend we were just doing pennants after pennants and we see them all come up we start coiling and we have breakouts all in continuations of the trend and the breakouts we obviously always want to see breakouts on high volumes higher volumes than the standard mean which would be like this levels here okay so those are three examples in a row all of penance forming during an uh an uptrend in the movement and now let's go into what would be euro us dollar we have a pennant here that we saw back in February of 2015 and we have it right here we have a very clear downtrend and then right here we look we always look to have the more confluence 
this chart patterns you know you don't have to be to worry so much about the having the very exact like lines because in reality we're just looking as this as like a general visual reference but you know the important thing is that we understand the concept of where we expect price to move these patterns help give us a bias to base our trade ideas around so in this case we have strong sell-off price starts coiling starts getting smaller and smaller usually when you have a lot of little candles and a lot of dojis and indecision in a row that means like we're getting set for a strong move here you have an engulfing bearish candle selling volumes are all going up and in this case you know you could take a measurement over here if you want to project this as a guide for taking profits if you would go short at the close of this bearish candle when you confirm the pattern and your stop would go over the pattern itself okay that's in euro and then let's look at one more on uh, the chart of gold on the five minutes let's go back in June 22nd of June and we have it right here where we have price coming in over here and then we have the other one coming in over here so we got our pennant there in this case you can see price were in a major uptrend price starts consolidating down oh this one we could even move it down further like around here and so we see we just start concentrating price starts coiling and then once we break out we have a great surge in buying volume on the breakout here we could do a measured move of the tallest part of this movement we can project this as our take profit area right there and we can see also that price made three steps down which is what's called a momentum triple drive which is a very uh, bullish uh, pattern because usually with three movements the market is either exhausted or it's in this case getting ready to charge a move to the upside in this case to continue the trend as we're making higher lows okay so those are examples of what we would have with pennants now let's go see some rectangle examples let's go look at bitcoin on december of 2019 bitcoin is a market that likes to move a lot in like consolidation areas mm, here you have Bitcoin right here Let's see where did I have it
Now let's go to the other one. I'm like, I see examples everywhere in here, but you know, some are not as clear as others. This is, this is a good one here where, you know, you always want to take the most confluence of hits, the most significant hits as sort of your guide for this type of patterns. For example, here you can see that price is sort of contained in this area, this rectangle, but then finally you have a very strong close right here. And we confirm we are coming down here. We continue. We actually didn't have a lot of follow through momentum, but you know, in this case, like we said, we're moving in range just contained between two levels which in reality, you know, this was almost one entire week of price action. So you would go into a lower time frame and just start playing side to side trades. Or like if you go long here, you aim for this area. If you go short here, you would aim back into this area, etc. And then you can take a measure move of the range of the most prominent like the height of the pattern and use that as a guide for your take profits here we can go into the one hour we can go into the 5th of june You see, like in this case, it was actually a reversal pattern here. We have a lot of levels here, a lot of wicks and things. We were coming up. This was actually a reversal where we have a top and a very strong close out of this consolidation. and then we get a touch back. So as you see in this case rectangles you assume that the move is going to continue in that direction however this can also help signify um, you know the end of trends in the short term. Here let's go to April 10th this is a forex one hour chart of New Zealand dollar and US dollar Let's go to April 10th. And you can see right here, in this case, how price it's shooting up. And right here we have this top where price is contained into this area. We're just ranging. But so again, this just signified we're trending up. We're sort of consolidating and we have a breakout. In this case, we can see afterwards, you know, it didn't have a lot of continuation, but price still went in the original direction. Okay. And even here, we can see here, if we're looking for confluence and just like other like patterns, we had sort of a flagging type of structure here. In this case it's sort of a flag where we go up, we're consolidating and then break out in continuation. Okay, so that's a lot of what's seen here. Uh, now let's go see one last example. Let's go into what uh, let's look at a commodity market. Let's go look at corn on the four hour and let's go to February where we can see here how the corn market just had this long period of just being contained all around this levels right here. If we extend it into this low, we see how the market here was just ranging 
again, this is a four hour chart, so this was several weeks of action. So you could still, intraday traders can get a lot of opportunities or swing traders to just play side to side. And we can see down here, like once we finally broke out of this support level to the downside, we have two very nice retests back in here. And we could have taken a measurement of this and then we just copy this and this could have been a nice target of a measured move of this consolidation okay so that's the examples for rectangles so I hope this has been a good uh, illustration as far as how the uh, patterns are concerned in terms of reversals and continuations. So if we want to just do a, uh, a quick summary, let's go over a quick summary of what we've covered so far. So we have reversal patterns and we have continuation patterns. So for reversal patterns, we saw if we're going in an uptrend, we can find head and shoulders patterns we can find double tops or we can find triple tops if we're going in a downtrend we can find head and shoulders at the bottom double bottoms or triple bottoms okay and then for continuation patterns we can have um we can be going in an uh, uptrend then we have a flag or channel down and continue or we can have an uptrend and we can have a wedge going down to continue up or we can go up and we can have a pennant which would be a symmetrical triangle shape to continue or we can have a rectangle and a continuation or the opposite would be obviously downtrend with wedges flags and well wedges or flags pointing back up for retracements into supply areas to then continue down or pennants which are just the symmetrical triangles going down or a rectangle or what would essentially be a sideways channel and then we look to break down unless we talked about how we can find sometimes triple tops or bottoms in rectangles indicating a trend reversal so we got to pay attention to that when it comes to uh, rectangles or ranges and this ones will give us more of an opportunity of what's called range trading or just targeting um, levels of support and resistance on either side okay so that's it for this so now we'll go into the last category of our classical chart patterns which will be the tri uh the triangles okay so i'll see you in the next one